Hi, this is Jamila, and today I'll be doing a brief tutorial on how to add social media icons to your email signature. And for those of you who are wondering why you would want to do this, the main reason is because it helps you give everyone you email the opportunity to know more about your web presence. It can help you increase traffic to your program's website, your personal website, your LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook page, or whatever it may be. It looks professional and it's really easy to do. So for those of you who are interested, keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. The first thing that you're going to do is open up Outlook and then go to New Email. And there are a couple places to find signatures, right on the main page or Insert Signatures. And you have the option of having a couple, so New Messages or Replies. So we're going to create one for our new message. All right, and just start typing your information there. It's a basic text editor. I'll put Jamila, LSN, tap intern, Northwest Justice Project. And then I also want to include a return email, my LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. So now we need to go find some icons. So my favorite place to look is a website called iconarchive.com. Again, you can look other places. They're all over the web. So I'm just going to search for a YouTube icon and then kind of show you how many different styles there are. There are so many. Um, I'll just scroll through a few so you can get a general idea. All right. So, all right. Now I'm just going to choose a stamp one and show you a little bit more. Um, so if you scroll down here, you have the usage terms of use and all the, also the different sizes. The sizes are important because you have to use the exact size that you want. When you're, when you're creating your signature, you can't resize. I'm going to show all and make sure they have all the icons that I want because I don't want to have my Twitter and LinkedIn be one style and the you know, mail one be different. So I'm just going to check. So here they have the mail icon, LinkedIn, Twitter, so then I'm going to open them up one at a time, scroll down, and find the size that I want. I like to do 32. I think that's a good size for email. Um, so then I'm just going to drag it over to my desktop, and I'm going to do that for each one. All right, again, the 32 pixel, drag it over. Okay, and now I have all of my icons, so I'm going to go back to Outlook and insert these images into my signature. So to do that, I'm going to click this little picture over here, and then control and click on all my new icons, and click insert, which will take me back here, where I need to now hyperlink all of my images. So I'm going to click on the mail, and then over here in the right-hand corner, you have the link. I'm just going to start typing my email. And you'll notice, yeah, it says mail to. It just automatically knows that, it, that it's an email address. Then I'm going to go to Internet Explorer and put links to my other social media accounts. So I'm just going to copy it, go back to Outlook, and then link my Twitter icon to the Twitter account. And LinkedIn. Again, make sure it's your home page. You don't want to just send someone to LinkedIn. You want to make sure to send them to your, your page. That's why I always like to test after I'm done, just to make sure that it sends everyone to the correct spot. All right, so I'm putting all of these in. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to update over here. New messages, new email. That means every time I send a new message, and my new email signature will come up. I'm just going to create a reply one as well. I'm just going to copy that out. And so that way, if I'm in a long email chain with someone, I'm not sending them my social media icons every single email. But every time I start a new chain, it'll go out. 
So there you go. I open up the email. There it is. I'm going to send a test to myself and test out all of the icons, make sure they link correctly. So mail, check, LinkedIn works. Twitter, and then YouTube. All right, and that's how you do it. Thank you all for listening in today. Um, here are the steps for what I did, and if you have any questions, you can email me at jamilah at nwjustice.org, and I'd be happy to help you get this set up.